know, you don't just suddenly have the idea. We were looking for ways uh, to improve the reliability of the electric system. <clears throat> if you go back 20, 25 years ago, uh, we were in trouble. We were having a lot of outages. Our customers were unhappy. We were getting a lot of complaints. And I took over the operations of the company, and we started looking at ways to improve reliability. We did everything we knew how to do, and we still weren't satisfied. We thought, okay, there's in the future, we're going to have to have a more reliable system than we've created. And that led us to thinking about the idea of communications. That would mean if we had a, a car hit a pole, that they would have to dispatch somebody to the field. They'd have to radio back in where they found the problem, where it was at. These folks would look at maps and decide, okay, I can open this switch and close this switch. I can open this other switch and close this switch. And then they'd radio those back out to, as execution steps to the folks in the field. Today, all of that takes place within a few seconds automatically. And so part of their job that's changed is now they have to make sure that the automation is working correctly. So, so it's again that layering. Instead of doing the physical switching, now they're making sure that the automation that is doing the switching is in service and working correctly. So first and foremost, the fiber network is the communications backbone for the smart grid. So it makes our electric system more reliable. And as a result of that, revenues generated from the fiber side are used to pay off the infrastructure costs on the uh, on the on the electric side, and that was that was by design from the beginning. Thank you, thank you, thank you.